Hello! You've probably noticed that a lot of my videos are very fast-paced. I don't exactly do that on purpose, I think that they just turn out to be like really fast somehow. So I'm really trying to practice talking slower and making my videos a bit easier to follow. So for this week's video, I'm going to be making small clay sculptures or charms, I guess. But instead of me deciding what I'm going to be making, I'm going to be using a random object generator. Also, all the random focusing and stuff, I'm not doing that. That's my phone just uh, having its own brain. I think I'm going to randomize it three times and whatever it lands on is going to be what I'm going to make. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. That's gonna be the first thing, I guess. I think I want my broccoli to be like a smiley face. I really wanna search on Pinterest if anyone else has made a broccoli clay charm thing, but I think that's gonna make this challenge a bit unfair because I'm likely gonna copy them, or at least my design is likely gonna be very inspired by them. I think this is a terrible drawing, but this is sort of what I'm going for. Basically, this is gonna be the stem and these are gonna be the little thingies on top. I'm gonna begin with the stem. Also, this clay is very conditioned, so that's good for me. The stem is going to be about this size, and I'm going to turn it into a bit of a cylinder. And I think I'm going to let there be four balls on the main stem. Before I add these balls onto the main body, I'm going to make the eyes because I don't want to squish the balls when I add the eyes. If you see random hair lying around, that's probably just hair from my bunnies. If you watch my channel just for bunny content and are wondering why I suddenly have started posting a whole bunch of like clay and those sorts of videos, originally that was actually my plan because I feel like there is a limit to how many bunny videos you can make. I've pretty much already run out of ideas and I know that there are already some channels that focus on bunny content. I think that looks fine. Also, all this dust that you see, I'm gonna get rid of it once it's baked by just scraping it off with this blade. I have no idea where that went. Right now the clay is not sticking, so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do about that. I guess if I press it really hard, it sticks. This ball is a bit too big. Uh -oh. And I'm gonna make one more ball to go on the top. There we go. I actually think that I'm gonna make one more ball to go over there. I'm gonna redo this eye. My nails keep indenting like everything I make and it's really annoying. While the broccoli is baking, I'm gonna move on to the next object. Again, I'm gonna randomize it three times. sure if I want to do this. I think that's going to be a bit difficult, but I don't want to cheat and randomize it again, so I think I'll go with a quilt, I guess. I want to go with something that looks like this. But yeah, definitely like that, and I want to make it look a bit bumpy and add a smiley face to it, hopefully. Over here, I've collected all the colors that I'm going to use. They're not my favorite colors, and none of them go along, but hopefully I'll make this work. And I've already conditioned all of these, so hopefully this is going to be easier. I'm going to do this on a piece of baking paper, just in case some of these clays are a bit too sticky, because I don't want them sticking to this... What is this called? Placemat? Board thing? Part of this clay is the leather effect clay, this one. So I wonder if there's gonna be a noticeable texture difference. This is a very dark purple, so I don't think that it's gonna look too good. But I don't feel like spending a lot of time trying to blend this with a light color, so I'm just gonna go with this and hopefully it doesn't look too bad. I don't think that it looks too bad, and hopefully it's gonna look better if I add more color. Definitely don't clean your blade like that. Here are all the squares placed together. They aren't really my favorite, but once I add detail, hopefully it's gonna look better. I'm gonna first try squish them together a bit more. I've 
made indents where the squares are connected now i'm gonna make some holes like that and then i'll update you here's what the quilt looks like now i'm not sure if i want to add a face to it maybe a small one over here wouldn't be too bad i don't really like how the face looks so i think i'm gonna have to add a smile to it the smile is so small that you can barely even see it on camera. There we go. I've curved this top part. I really wanted this whole quilt to be like curvy, but I don't think that's gonna happen because it's very fragile, so the pieces are breaking apart. I guess this is gonna be fine. To be honest, I'm not really happy with how it looks like, but at least I didn't cheat, I guess. So I'm gonna put it in the oven and I think I'll continue the video tomorrow. Good morning, it is the next day. Here is the broccoli from yesterday. As you can notice close up, there's lots of little spots and dust. So I'm going to use this blade to scrape them off. Here is what the broccoli looks like after scraping all the dust off. There are still some pieces like that and that that I can't get out because I think they were just mixed in with the clay. But from a distance, you can't really notice it, so I'm fine with that, I guess. Next, I'm going to take the eye pin out and put it back in with some glue. Now the eye pin shouldn't fall out, and lastly, I'm gonna cover this in resin. Here is what my little drying contraption looks like. I'm gonna put the UV light like this, and once I glaze the broccoli, it's gonna be drying over here. Over here, I have the baked quilt. By the way, for the glaze, I use miniature sweet uh, UV resin. And the last thing that I'm going to make is a rat, I guess. <laughs> um, I sort of have an idea of how I want my rat to look like. But like, I've never seen anyone else make a rat, so I don't know if it's going to look good. At first, I was thinking of making it be like a basic, those like rats that everyone has seen and look like sort of like that but people usually use that to show a mouse and i wanted my rat to be a bit different so i'm gonna try and make him have like a body like that i think the main body is gonna be this color which is the souffle concrete color mixed with some sculpey translucent and i think i might make a belly for the rat which is gonna be white i've actually ran out of white clay and the only one that i have left is the leather effect one and it has this very weird almost leathery texture Although I'm not sure if I'm gonna like how dark this gray is. I really want it to be a lighter gray, sort of like this one. But if I add the leather effect, it's gonna feel weird. This one has the leather effect. This is gonna be the main body, and I think this is gonna be like a, a coney head, like that. Here is the rat's belly, and I'm not sure if I like that. what the rat looks like so far although i think it looks a bit like an elephant lastly i'm gonna add a tail on the back here is the finished rat i'm gonna bake it and then glaze it this rat has finished baking i baked it for about an hour at 100 degrees celsius he has a few bits of dust on him, so I'm gonna scrape those off and then I'm gonna coat him in resin. I took the eye pin out to glue it back with super glue and I think I added too much super glue and it like sticks out over here on the top. And it's very noticeable because there are air bubbles inside, so that's a bit annoying. I'm not even sure if this really looks like a rat. Maybe from the side, although I never wanted him to look realistic, so that's why I made the body and the head separate. From the front, he really looks like an elephant, kind of, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Now I'm gonna glaze them, and once they all cure, I'm gonna show you what they look like. 